traders kings and pilgrims the importance of trade and coastal kingdoms what is trade buying and selling goods is what trade is all about the sellers usually make a good profit that is how they earn a living but it is not all that simple you can't make much of a profit if you sell stuff that people can get easily themselves right so you have to sell stuff that is not easily available that comes from far far away and that is a lot of work even long ago merchants were interested in making good profits so they would bring things from far away places to sell they traveled across deserts mountains and oceans it was very interesting what did people trade gold spices and precious stones from south india were sold in the roman empire pepper was also traded a lot it was so precious it was called black gold this trade was so much that a lot of roman gold coins have been found in south india how did traders travel traders traveled by land traders also traveled by sea let's look at the routes coming in to india closely where are most of the entry points in india most of the entry points are in south india and all of those are from the sea there must have been a lot of activity happening in these coastal towns where goods came in or went out there must have been warehouses docks ports lots of offices and lots of trading in these towns so basically there must have been a lot of business activity going on in these coastal towns trade towns in india where there is more business there is more money and where there is more money people pay more taxes which go to the person who controls that town in addition to the trade there were very fertile river valleys near the coasts too so in these places the farmers would get good crops and pay a lot of tax too so all the powerful chiefs there wanted to control the coastal trade towns that is because the chief who controlled these towns could collect a lot of tax money all these kings had a controlling center near the coast as well as one inland they received a lot of gifts from the people in these towns they also demanded money and gifts from the people what did they do with all this money they must have kept some of the money for themselves they must have had to distribute some of the money to their supporters they must have then used the rest of the money for other things what other things the kings must have used the money they collected for military expeditions irrigation works and roads and poets who wrote praises of the king About 2300 years ago there were three ruling families who became very powerful in South India the Cholas the Cheras the Pandyas About 200 years after that a dynasty known as Satvahanas came into power one king of that dynasty called Gautami Pura Shri Satakarni was a very famous one he fought against almost all neighboring powers and won he and the other rulers were called dakshinapatha which means lords of the south these kings 
wanted to control the coastal towns too. Think and discuss. Why were the kings interested in controlling the coastal towns? Why did poets write songs that praised their king? Traders, kings and pilgrims, the Silk Route. Trade was important. It was a good way of making money. The sellers tried to make a good profit by bringing in goods from faraway lands. Some traders travelled by the land route. What was the land route? It is the route that you see in red. Let us look at that a little closely. This was also called the Silk Route. It connected Europe to Asia. Why the name Silk Route? Mainly because a lot of silk was carried for trade along this road. The silk was made in China and then sent to the rest of the world. Many other items were traded too, but silk was the major trade item. Silk came only from China. The Chinese had figured out how to make silk from cocoons. They didn't share the secret with the rest of the world. So, the only place that silk came from was China. Silk was expensive, obviously, since it had to be brought all the way from China. The road to Europe was dangerous through mountains and deserts. There were also robbers on the way. They demanded money too. Think and discuss. It was difficult to use carts along the silk route. Why? Why was silk so expensive in Europe? Silk became fashionable. Since silk was expensive, only the rich could afford it. It became fashionable in Europe to wear silk. It showed that the person had money. Control of the Silk Route Since a lot of trade happened along the Silk Route, the strong rulers at the time tried to control it. They wanted to control it because they could collect a lot of money as taxes and gifts from the traders. The best known controllers of the Silk Route were the Kushina kings. They ruled over Central Asia and Northwest India. Mathura, Peshawar and Taxila were their major cities. They issued gold coins that the Silk Route traders used. Think and discuss. Why did kings want to control the area around the Silk Route? 